Hello everyone, this is Imranimu and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I will be showing you how to work with File Manager WordPress plugin. Using this plugin, you can manage and work with your WordPress file using cPanel File Manager. So, I am just going to get this plugin name and here is the dashboard of my WordPress website and I am going to install the plugin here. From the plugin section, I am just going to click on add new and search for the plugin here it is file manager and just hit this install now button and hit activate okay here you can see WP file manager plugin has been installed and activated. Let's see the menus WP file manager. Okay, and here goes it. You can see all the files of the site. Just hit later. All the files of the WordPress website and here goes every action so you can just what should I say you can manage the WordPress files and before I do that I'll just go to the settings section okay who can use this interface preference public root path okay and enable trash Okay, just go to the WP file manager again. From the right, you can change the language and you can choose the theme. It's default theme at the moment. I'm just going to uh, switch to dark mode. Nice theme. Lion gray. Windows 10 Wow, it's beautiful. I'm just going to select dark Okay, now you can see all the button, but whatever the light I think to record the video the dark theme will be better now you can see the all the menus file options okay here goes the main directory root directory of the website and on the left you can see the existing folders of the site wp-admin wp content wp input sometimes you might have a very large theme file and you might need to install the theme just uploading through this wp file manager then what you will do just go to the wp content folder and double click on it and you will see the plugins folder and here goes all the existing plugins and if i want to get a uh, get back to the folder or just go out of the folder what i'll have to do i'll just have to click on this back icon and it get me back to the upper folder and if i want to go to any forward action just click on it the forward button then it will get me the forward okay i'm just going to go back again go to the themes and here goes the existing theme files if you want to manually install any theme just go to this themes folder and upload the theme file here i'm just going to show you okay here goes the avas theme it has what should i say 67 mb file size sometimes we need to install this file using the upload method then what i'll do i'll just to get back to this folder i'll just get to this uh, themes folder from the uh, using this WP file manager 
and drag and drop just drop here and you can see it's uploading well here you can see we have uploaded the zip file and it's time to extract it just right click on it and here you can see extract file from archive and i'm just going to choose here option just click on here and it will say yes and you see it's going to be extract and already it extracted so the main benefit of using this plugin you can use you can install any large theme file using the upload method okay just like the cpan okay now i'm just going to go to the appearance and themes and it opens in a new tab and you can see the avast theme i'm just going to hit activate it and the theme has been activated okay so uh, again if i want to delete something just like the zip file i don't need this file just select this file or folder and go to the delete option here you can see the tooltip and just click on it okay just remove okay now if you want to create any file or folder just come here you can see new folder click on it and name the folder test folder okay here you can see the folder created and now if you want to create any file just click on it new file and you can create any file just what should i say just click on it text plain file cascading style sheet or html document i'm just going to choose the html document and here you will name the file index dot html okay just click outside or hit enter then the file will be created just name the file and hit enter from the keyboard and just select this file and click on this pencil icon to edit the file okay here it is you can write an html code here etc okay and hit save and save and close okay and this just resize or restore okay select none etc okay you can preview it and you can make it full screen okay just click here and click here it will be full screen well if you want to move this file just drag it and drop to the folder and it will be moved easily okay and just get back to the directory and if you want to download any folder just test folder and hit this download icon okay it will be downloaded as a zip file okay briefly i hope this was i hope this was all about file manager plugin and i hope you can use it to install any theme or plugin that is too large so hope this video helped you please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to your channel thank you for watching